It holds the National Collection of British Art and today Tate Britain has unveiled an entirely new presentation of more than 800 works. The aim? To tell the story of British art from 1545 to now in a way that reflects what it describes as revolutionary changes over this time. Our culture and media editor Katie Razzle was taken on a tour. <laughs> It's a journey through 500 years of British art, but now this story isn't presented in a vacuum but reflects the culture and society of its times. Tate Britain's also giving greater prominence to works by women artists and diversity. This is the first room in which women artists appear. Alex Farquharson's been busy investing in art by women, including this new acquisition by Mary Beale, the most prolific female portrait painter of the 17th century. Of course this is a man's world, in society as a whole and in terms of the art scene. These are artists that have been marginalised uh, from art historical counts and unfairly marginalised and it's so important that the work is seen in the context of their male peers. Tate now displays its art within its wider historical context, with new commissions alongside for the first time. Nils Norman's radical pamphlets show the turbulence of an age of civil war in a way the paintings don't. And there's new labelling too, a reminder of what life was really like for workers idealised in this Stubbs painting and slaves depicted amongst the dancers in this 18th century Agostino Brunias. It's the truth that this is a deliberately misleading image. It would have been made for planters, people who made huge wealth out of sugar and slavery, while also offering a, an image that acts like propaganda to people back home. And what's your response to people who say, why are you relabeling these things? Why are we not just proud of our history? Well, it's, it's actually not superimposing a modern history onto, his, onto history. It's precisely telling history more truthfully and more inclusively. Tate's collection belongs to us all. They're telling our history through art, whether that's the brutality of war, industrialization and its impact, or the story of empire. Well, I want people to walk right up to it and. Hugh Locke grew up in Guyana. This work is a nod to the heraldic imagery on a British passport. It's a document which people are fighting for, people are literally dying to get this thing. Does it reflect Britishness in any sense? It, it reflects ideas of Britishness, ideas of an invented culture, ideas of, of nationhood. How do, we, how do we come to become who we are? Can art provide an answer? These modern works were created during the upheavals of Brexit, Black Lives Matter and Me Too. In 500 years, how will visitors here interpret this art of our island nation? Katie Razzle, BBC News.